Betsy from LexiNaturals.com and today we're going to talk about oil infusions. We started using infusions a few years ago in our soaps because we wanted the benefits from different herbs and spices in our soap. You can also use oil infusions for cooking to flavor the oil. You can use them in different salves and um, different lip balms, different balms. You can even color soaps and different things with using certain oil infusions like this oil infusion I have here. I made some incense uh, a, a few months ago and I decided to put it in some oil and you see it's turned a nice pinkish red color and we're hoping that this comes through to our soap along with all of the benefits from the herbs and things that are in the oil too. So today I'm just going to show you a quick, uh, two quick methods, the solar method or which is also called the cold method and the hot method. We use the solar method mostly because it takes less energy and we just feel like it's a little bit more natural. Um, but especially during the winter months when we don't have much sun and uh, we don't have much heat, natural heat, we will also do the hot method, which I'll show you in a minute. So let's start with the cold method. In both ways, you'll start the same way. Get a clean glass jar and you'll want to fill it about halfway or a little more than halfway with flowers or herbs. And if you have fresh flowers from your yard, that's great. We've done that too. You do want to make sure you dry out the flowers before you use them. So just leave them out on the counter for a few days and let them dry. So we've got this pretty packed in here and it's about halfway full. And we're going to take some oil. It really doesn't matter what oil you use. We've used coconut oil, olive oil. Uh, the, the thing with coconut oil is it does you know, turn solid at 76 degrees. So um, it, it's a little bit more difficult to infuse if you don't have a hot temperature. This is avocado oil. Just pour it in until it covers your herbs or whatever you're using. And you'll see some bubbles coming up and take a little knife or spoon and just kind of work some of those bubbles out, which will create more room. And you can add a little bit more oil until it's almost full. Just make sure that everything's covered. And you'll want to put a top that fits nicely on here. And also you want to cover, not cover, I'm sorry. You want to label your oil. Oh, little girl. You want to label your oil uh, because I used to think that I would remember everything and I don't. I forget. So put the oil that you're using, put the herb or spice that you have in here and put the date on there. And you can let this just sit outside or sit inside on the counter for up to months. We've had some for six months or even a year. Um, it's, it really is fine after about two to four weeks. That would be like the ideal time to use it. Um, and you can shake it every few days and just leave it sitting out there and I will show you the hot method in just a minute. Okay, so with the solar method, we would, after we got it capped and labeled, we would just stick it outside or on the counter for two weeks, up to six months, and then it would be ready to use. Um, so that takes a little while. With the hot method, it uh, goes a little quicker. So you need a, a large pot and you want to fill it uh, just a few inches with water. Then you will put uh, either a washcloth or a small towel down in the bottom here. This sort of acts as a buffer between your pot and your glass jars. So after you get that in, you just simply take your infusions with the top on and set them down in this water bath. And I have the calendula and avocado oil that we just made. I also have some coconut oil with the calendula. And I have some coffee beans I'm using in coconut oil that I'm using for a little experiment. Uh, and this one won't fit, but this one's a lavender with coconut oil. So you get them in the pot and you turn the stove on low. And you basically let this sit for 30 minutes up to three days. Um, if you do decide to leave it longer than a day, you will want to make sure that you keep water handy that you can just pour in because it will start to evaporate the water and you don't want that to happen. You do want this to stay on low. Don't, don't let it boil. You don't want to burn your flowers or your herbs. You don't want to burn anything. So just keep it on low and let it infuse. When you are done with your infusion, you will take a sieve or you can also use 
a cheesecloth and you will take your infusion and just pour it in and it will collect your oil. You can throw out your herbs, you can um, use them again for another infusion, infusion. it just won't be as strong, um, or you can compost them or whatever, whatever you want to do with them, you can do. And then you will take your oil and bottle it up and put the top on it. Make sure you keep that label on there so that you know what it is. And there you have it. That's how you do oil infusions.